Tomorrow will be the longest day of the year. And here in Scotland, given clear weather, it's a very long day indeed. With a cloudless sky, it'll still be no more than dusk at 11pm. And I'm in southern Scotland. Farther north, the day is even longer. I had intended to be at Carlisle today to film the steam hall Dalesman. Although Rail Advent was still showing it as running even yesterday, it didn't appear on real-time trains, and eventually Advent noted that it was cancelled. One of my regular viewers volunteers on West Coast Railways, and last time we met, he told me that three upcoming Dalesman trains had been cancelled. Clearly, this was number one. I had spotted that a civil engineer's train was scheduled to run from Rutherglen to Dumfries, returning an hour or so later. I needed a few items of shopping, and as Hollywood gates are more or less on my route into town, I decided to have a look. Hollywood Level Crossing is located on a very minor dead-end road, leading to a farm, an old creamery, now a furniture manufactory, and a big house named Killy Lung. A station was opened here in 1849, named after the big house, but renamed Hollywood after a small community a mile or so away. Although this was the main line of the old Glasgow and South Western Railway, and in its heyday carried through trains between Scotland's biggest city and the English capital, these days it sees little road traffic and even less rail traffic. We hear the telegraphic communication with the next signal box at Dumfries Station and wait for the gates to open to road traffic. We don't have long to wait until...
well now, this is odd. Is there something coming from the opposite direction? The signals are dangerous, so apparently not. I posted a video a few weeks ago when the signalman had to come down from his cabin and manually force the gates to operate. Here he comes again. You're still having fun with them then, eh? This time he does something with the ground level mechanism before retreating back up the steps and trying again. It's a good job that this is such a quiet spot. If either the road or rail traffic were heavier, these gates could cause serious problems. Imagine having to come down from the signal box in driving rain on a cold, dark winter's night to manhandle such ancient equipment. The gates are remaining closed to road traffic. Are they stuck or is another train coming? Nothing scheduled for the best part of an hour when the track machine is due to return north. Let's wait and see. I'm no engineer, but I wouldn't have thought that an excessive amount of work would be required to restore the gates to full and proper working order. Or is this location simply too remote and too quiet to be worth the expenditure? Will we have to wait for the now long overdue upgrading of this entire route? Once again, let's wait and see.